ideas and practices of Mahatma Gandhi, which were born in Durban over a century ago, have changed the world. And they live on in this soft-spoken powerhouse of a woman. Hi, my name is Ila Gandhi. I'm the granddaughter of Mahatma Gandhi. Welcome to my family home. Please come in. Gandhi arrived in South Africa in 1893 and after 21 years returned to India. But he sent his son, Manilal Gandhi, back to run the newspaper and settlement he'd established. So Ila and her siblings were born here. This is my grandfather and grandmother. This is uh, my sister with my grandfather in India. All these people used to come to see Gandhiji. But despite that, Gandhiji used to give us some time. And that was in 1946-47 when I visited as a six-year-old. When her grandfather left for India, every piece of property where his work had taken root was put in trust. So the legacy of Mahatma Gandhi would start with the Phoenix Settlement because this is where he transformed his whole lifestyle, his thinking, where people learn to sew, how to make their own shoes, how to build their own houses, how to make their own furniture. Everyone who came here had to live off the land, so they became self-sufficient. And that is what he started in Phoenix Settlement. So this place is uh, where his ideas changed and we call it the awakening of his spirit. And that is what he did. He adjusted to life here. You'll see that he didn't have furniture over here. There was nothing except for the coal stove. There were no beds, but they all slept on the floor. He did a lot of reading. He had a small desk to write on. There's a bigger room in front where the whole community, all the people around here used to come together and eat in communal living. So that was the transformation. A person who was living in Durban had all the luxuries of Durban life, came here and lived in this uh, conditions until he left South Africa in 1914, the family lived in this house here. And the family comprised of Gandhi, his wife, his four children, his daughter-in-law. After the Mahatma's son, Manilal, came to live in the house, Ila and her sister were born here. When it was destroyed by beetles, they spent a year rebuilding it, molding each brick by hand. My grandmother and I didn't meet, unfortunately. My family only went to India after she passed away. But I read a lot about her, and my mother told me stories about her. And from that, I have uh, realized that my grandmother was a very powerful person in her own right. One of the residents wrote after she passed away in a tribute to her. He said that Gandhiji could have been powerful and well-known outside the settlement, but on the settlement, she was the powerful person. She was the person who led everyone on the Phoenix settlement. Following in those footsteps, Ila wants to leave a legacy of hard work for the greater good, as did the newspaper which her family started here. Printing Press was started by Mahatma Gandhi with the help of some of his uh, friends. It was started in 1903, but it was located in Durban. And he was very conscious of the media the power that the media has in influencing people, in educating people, and so on. And in 1904, when he decided to locate to Phoenix Settlement, he brought the newspaper as well. 
and all the people who were working in the newspaper followed him. Later, after he left uh, South Africa and he sent my dad to uh, South Africa, my dad took on the responsibility of running the newspaper. And uh, he was uh, like the longest serving editor of the newspaper. He was the editor writer until he passed away in 1956. And during the time of his illness, he had you know, the assistance of Mr. Jordan and Gubani. And for a long time, he assisted my mother who took over from my father in 1956. So the newspaper gave people information. It educated people on culture and issues that the community needed education in. And it also helped the community to understand that if there was an injustice, you had to act against it. And it inspired people by also telling stories of brave people who had confronted the government and continued to fight against injustices. So in that way, to inspire communities to take action. Nominated for World Heritage Status as the birthplace of nonviolence, the Phoenix Settlement and Ela's work here have more than stood the test of time. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.